Hello, I'm back. Can you believe it? I've, I've got two uploads in the space of two weeks. Who would have thought it? But today, I've got a pretty cool video, I think. Um, I found a uh, hidden detail, like small, subtle hint, like detail, not hint. Um, it's, it's subtle, but it's there, and I don't think anyone else on the internet has like, talked about it. So... That's what this video is about. So I'm going to go over this cool little detail I found. And then just a few more that I found playing through the game on like my second playthrough or my first playthrough. Depending on like whereabouts in the video it is. But um, yeah, we'll kick off the first one. Um, so we've, we've got a keyboard, right? Standard keyboard. But you'll notice there's a key that just doesn't go on a normal keyboard. And that's because it's the Insomniac logo. Like, everyone's talking about, oh, yeah, the big Insomniac chandelier that's in, like, the Rhino chase. Um, but there's there's a there's just one hanging about on other keyboards. I found this one uh, breaking out of that, uh, that lab with Finn uh, after Rhino pummels you a little bit. Um, and I just thought it was quite cool. So um, that was the main premise of the video. But that's the next. We've got a little clip to show you. Um, it's very early on in the game, and as in very early on, it's the first mission. But I only noticed it on my second playthrough. Um, if you're looking like the map radar thing uh, at the bottom right, whenever Rhino, like you know, when he stomps through and you know he can like just hit you and you don't know he's coming, he actually has like a little icon on the radar that I didn't notice until I was just playing through again. Um, so I thought that was like, a really cool detail, really like, cool touch that they made a specialised logo just for him. Um, so I thought it deserved a place in this video. So next we've got a, uh, a much longer clip. Um, so you, you're just going to watch without me talking, which is probably a good thing. I, I'd see that as a blessing. But um, it's just a little attention to detail in terms of lighting. Because um, as you can see, like as Krieger gets closer, or as Miles like looks and turns to Finn, like towards the end of the clip, you'll see that his glowing eyes with the Miles Morales twenty ninety nine suit um, will actually give off like a blue light. So when like Krieger gets up in your face, it's not as like intimidating as it's supposed to be because he's still like proper well lit. Uh, and I did check over the footage quite a few times to make sure it just wasn't like a light or something. But it is when he gets closer, it glows more in his face. So I, I, I thought that was a very cool attention to detail, especially because all of these clips are on PS4. I'm not one of the lucky few with the PS5. So just that, that level of detail on the PS4, I can only imagine just how cool the game is on PS5. But um, yeah, enjoy. And I'm going to find out what makes you tick. Because you just smell like next level bioengineering. And you know what that smells like to me, kid? That smells like money. Okay, I'm gonna hit the gym. Leg day, can't skip it. Get her to tell us where my new form is. <laughs> can't really open the plaza without it. Oh, and uh, use him. <laughs> Time to finish what we started on the bridge. No cameras now. Kill you. <laughs> Holy shit. Tougher than I look, huh? <laughs> Let's find a way out of here. Let's go. 
All right, and after that, we've just got one clip left, um, and I can probably talk over this, so it's fine. You've got my um, not so soothing voice back, um, but it's uh, it's in the flashback scene of the final mission. Um, so when when you're looking for the stuff to break into the lift, so you can go see your project. You bump into Peter and Otto Octavius, um, like pre. Spider-Man PS4, um, and it's it's like it's meant to happen. It's scripted, but um, if you try and follow Peter after they've finished having their conversation, he's presumably off to do like Spider-Man things. Not in a hurry by any means, but um, I tried to follow him, and you just get to a certain point where he just goes up on, like a ramp. And you can't follow him, it's just an invisible sorry, wall that turns you back around. And then Otto doesn't say anything, so all you can do is leave. You can just witness their little interaction. But I think it's just a cool detail that they're in the game um, when it's a prequel, not a prequel, but like a flashback in the game of Miles Morales to have a flashback version of Peter and Otto before Otto started losing his mind and stuff. It's just really cool. So, um,. Yeah, that's the final clip. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a quick little details video because I thought they were really cool and I'm just chuffed with myself that I've like, recorded them and put them all together and just I'm gassed. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, obviously, subscribe and like the video would be very nice. Thanks. Um, let's 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 just go for 34 subs because that's one more that i have while i'm recording this um so it'd be sick um but yeah thanks for watching and see you